All right, we're going to talk about the Blue Yeti microphone, specifically the Blackout Edition. The first thing I'm noticing when I'm handling this packaging here is actually how heavy it is. A lot of this can be contributed to the metal frame of the microphone and the other metal components on it. The packaging is pretty nice. As you can see, this wasn't the most seamless unboxing I've ever had. Um, kind of ripped it a little bit at the top here. I'm not sure what the struggle was there, but moving on to this white box inside, the first thing we have is a little cutout for our accessories. The first of which is the USB plug, as this is a USB microphone. Next, there is kind of documentation here for the microphone oh, and more documentation. We can remove this foam part on top here to get to the microphone. All right, so pulling it out, it has this plastic over it. There's more foam on the bottom and on the side here to keep it protected in the box. The plastic, uh, you know, it feels like plastic. We'll go ahead and take it off here. As you can see, it's in its space saving confirmation. The microphone, when held up top, takes up a lot of space, so you can actually fold it down when you're not using it in this kind of confirmation here, when it's on your desk and you're not using it. On the bottom, we have these foam feet here, keeps it from sliding around. On the bottom of the mic, we have a headphone jack, thread mount, and mini USB port. It's a little bit hard to see, so I got in a little bit closer. This is for your mic monitoring. You can use headphones, plug it in here, thread mount, and then that's where you plug in the cable that it comes with. So these knobs on the side, you can use to either tighten or loosen the microphone from the given stand that it comes with. Um, when you're first get, taking it out of the box, just make sure you don't leave it too loose. I did, and it kind of just came crashing down on the on the stand here, as you can see. Uh, it just left a little mark, nothing major, but yeah, just make sure it's pretty tight once you're taking it out of the box or even when you're using it. Okay, so now we've got the microphone in hand here. As you can see, the blackout name serves it well. Most of the components on here are black. I currently have a pop filter on here. That's just for audio's sake and to avoid plosives or the P sounds. Just a small demonstration there. I can leave a link to this pop filter here. It was only $10. Um, this microphone is pretty sensitive, so I think it'll be well worth it. The headphone jack on the bottom works with most sets of headphones. I personally have here Audio-Technica headphones. Um, you can use that for monitoring to kind of like see how your voice sounds before you start recording. Additionally, if you have any concerns about using this with a MacBook that only has USB-C, it does work. I'm actually using that right now. As long as you have an adapter, you can plug that USB-A in there and then it'll work fine. This is included on the box, but there are a few different audio modes here. Right now I'm using the cordioid mode, which just means it's going to try and cancel out the sound in front of the microphone. So it's going to try and include me and nothing else. However, there are different sound modes. So for example, there's an omnidirectional sound mode, which sounds like this. As you can see, it already sounds different. These different sound modes can be used for different purposes. There is also a bi-directional sound mode, which I will change to now, which sounds like this. So if you wanted somebody to sit on the other side of you doing like an interview or something, this would be a good mode for that. Right now, there's nobody on the other side, so there's not going to be anyone saying anything. There is also a mute button on here, which is on the front of the microphone. It's lit up red here. When it's blinking, it's muted, so you probably didn't hear what I just said, but it is working. On the front, there is also a volume dial, so when you have your headphones on and you're doing mic monitoring, you can turn up the volume to see what kind of sounds there are in the background. The microphone is pretty sensitive, so it may reveal some sounds that you maybe didn't think it would pick up. Additionally, there is a gain dial on the back of the microphone here, which you can adjust to increase or decrease the gain for the microphone. Right now I have it about a quarter way just because 
it can get pretty loud. If it was a question, there's really no other software that you need. The microphone's basically plug and play. For me, all I did was plug it in with the adapter and it just is working fine. That's been it. Thank you for watching until the end of the video. Please leave a like if you liked it. It'll help me out a lot and I hope to have more videos soon. Peace.